Hello, everybody, and thank you for tuning into 1111 Synchronicity Tarot. I am back with another reading, so let's hop straight into it, okay, y'all? We're going to see what's going on with your person, if you're on a twin flame journey here, okay? Let's see what's going on with your true divine masculine, okay? So, angel spirit, guys, ancestors, the man of the highest white light. Give me some messages for my YouTube collective on their true divine masculine here. Peace and thank you. What is the current update of the collective with your true divine counterpart? And Jay, you got somebody stalking you, watching you, watching everything that you do. Okay, somebody is getting like a new way of thinking. Okay, maybe they're looking at you different. Okay, and maybe you make this person look at life different here, but they're just watching and they're looking. And this person is sitting back in the shadows, just watching and observing. Basically, that's what they're doing here. Okay. Yeah, this person's watching you from the sidelines, okay, however it is that they're watching you. Definitely, um, it could be social media or something like that here, y'all, okay. Uh, you got coffee cup. So this person is going to be one. I guess this person is trying to figure out, like, when is the best time to reach out to you and ask for this, like, meetup. So this person want to meet with you. They want to talk about things, okay. Um, I think they're going to start off like being friendly and things like that. And then it's going to like pick up. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like building a friendship. I feel like this person wants to build something on a solid foundation. So they don't want to come in and build things off of six. They want to build things on a friendship. Okay. So you all definitely are going to be like homies, like best friends. Okay. Like y'all going to be going on dates, having fun. But I feel like y'all are going to be like building, you know, something solid, okay, where nobody will ever be able to come in between here. Definitely, they're watching, trying to see when they're going to ask you for this meet up here. It could be over a cup of coffee, y'all, okay? If this person know you like coffee or they like coffee, it could be uh, over coffee, y'all, okay? Some type of coffee shop or a, a little breakfast diner or something or whatever okay definitely um they're getting ready they're getting that urge to reach out and ask you to meet them somewhere okay now some of y'all could have been dealing with a um narcissist if they was not a full-blown narcissist they acted like it okay you know this person could have love bombed you in the past they were very simple absorbed one side had a big ego okay um and i feel like this is what this person had to work on like this person i feel like because y'all i know people throw narcissists out there a lot which yeah people are narcissistic people have different mental issues people are bipolar but you have people that have the tendencies that's, that don't mean that someone is a full-blown narcissist just because they have certain characteristics, you know what I'm saying? Or just because somebody have a couple of mood swings that they're a full-blown uh, uh, bipolar or something like that, child, okay? So I feel like whoever you're dealing with, yeah, they could have been a narcissist for some of y'all. Others of you all, they could have just had certain characteristics that were just like a narcissist, whatever, but that does not necessarily mean that a person cannot change or be healed, y'all, okay? Like, people change and people can heal. That's only if they want to, okay? You have people that have definitely have been narcissists or sociopaths or people that have had different mental issues that have healed or gotten some type of treatment for it. You know what I'm saying? People can heal, y'all, okay? So that... Not saying because you've had an experience with somebody and it was bad and they can't heal. Like, people can. That's just like a cheater. You know how they say once a cheater, always a cheater? That is an absolute lie. Okay? I don't know who came up with that, but that's a lie. People can change. You know what I'm saying? Like, people 
can wake up one day and be like, you know what? I'm tired of this shit. I don't want to be in this energy no more. What am I going to do to change my behavior? And they change because they get tired of it. So I don't believe that narrative that people cannot change. And they're, once they are one way, they will always be that way. That's not how I see things now. Some people could think differently. They have a right to think the way they think. I just don't think that way. I feel like everybody has a chance to change their life around and be different and be better. And in this case, this person wants to change and be better because they realized that they was, okay, uh, 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 it's, uh, oh, it's, okay, if you get what I'm saying, uh, a sack of, you know what I'm saying, okay? And so this person is looking at things differently. They're looking at their behavior, how they treated people, how they treated you, because you all could have been very loving, very kind to this person. And they're like, oh, my God, why did I treat them like that? What was wrong with me? Why did I do this person like that? Because I feel like y'all was very loving, very kind. Okay. And, you know, they just, they got a whole lot of regrets. Okay. Yeah. You all definitely going to be getting some type of invitation and to meet up with this person. They could be texting you out the blue. You definitely could be receiving a text, an email, a, 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 a dollar to your cash up saying, unblock me or call me. <laughs> Okay, you're going to be hearing from this person here. Okay, and this person has faith that you all can work something out here. Okay, they definitely do. But you you definitely have love coming in your life, y'all. Okay, I definitely feel like... And for some of y'all, because I pick up on two things. Okay, some of y'all... This narcissist person, this person that love bumped you, could have ghosted you, they had a big ego, they're going to meet up with you, okay? They're watching you, they're stalking you, they're trying to see when it's a good time to come in. And for others of y'all, y'all going to have a person here that's new coming in. After dealing with somebody that was a narcissist that you let go of because you have had enough, okay? Is this person still stalking you and watching you from your past? Yes. But I feel like some of y'all have moved forward and you want somebody new and you're having faith that love is coming and it is, okay? Love is coming. It really is. Love is coming, okay? And some of you all, you could be at a coffee shop or something. You could be out and you could meet somebody, okay, while you're out getting breakfast or at the coffee shop or whatever here. And it could be like this love at first sight situation. But for the most of you all, this is somebody from your past, Okay, this is somebody here that definitely love bombed you. And this is somebody that's watching you, trying to figure out when to come in and ask you, you know what I'm saying, on this date or meet up here. Y'all, this person could have been, they could have had addictions. Some of y'all could have been drug, you could, some of y'all, your person could have been an alcoholic, they could have been a drug addict, they could have been a sex addict, and you didn't know it. And that's something that they were hiding from you. They did not want you to know because they were ashamed of the addictions that they had. And they knew if they were in a relationship with you, you wouldn't know. It's kind of giving me Whitney Houston, y'all, okay? Because you know how with Whitney Houston, uh, she had addictions and things like that, y'all, okay? And I'm pretty sure in the beginning she tried to hide it. But of course, you know, when you get comfortable with a person, you'll have somebody like this. you be like, damn, wait a minute, hold up. I, I wasn't expecting you to do all that. And I know you done got a little comfortable with me, but I wasn't, I wasn't expecting all that. Where did it come from? Y'all, this person didn't want to show you something. Okay? They didn't want you to see some type of addiction. They were ashamed of it, though. So, they didn't want you to know it. So, yes, this person, you know what I'm saying, could have loved them, too. They had a big ego and all that. But I feel like whoever this reason is for, your person had addictions that they didn't want you to know about. Okay? They was very secretive with you. Okay, and I feel like it was it was these addictions that they didn't want you to know. If you were around this person every single day, you would pick up on the things that they were hiding, and you would see these addictions that they didn't want you to see. Okay, they wanted to they wanted you to only see them in a good light. They didn't want you to see them in a negative light. Okay, so they felt like if they kept their distance and all that kind of stuff, like you wouldn't know what they were hiding or what they was trying to cover up and keep from you. Okay. Yeah, some of y'all definitely was addictions. Yeah. This person know that they sabotaged this relationship with you. 
okay? And they and I'm telling you, they they in this energy to where they are regretful, okay? They're they're beating themselves up about this situation, okay? Um, definitely wish that they would have told you how they truly felt, how much they loved you. They wish that they would have told you the truth because I feel like you're somebody that's not judgmental. Okay, I feel like you're somebody that can deal with anybody in different walks of life. And I felt like you would have tried to help and assist them in some way if they would have just came out and been honest with you. Even if, if you all would have just said, you know what, until you heal and you get, we could just be friends and I will be here for you. Because I feel like you would have respected this person's honesty instead of them hiding something or feeling like, you know, like, Dude, what is it you hiding? What is it that you keeping away from me? Why are you pushing me away? Why are you doing this? You know what I'm saying? I felt like you would have respected this person's honesty. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel like you would have judged this person harshly because of their addictions. You would have literally been a friend and you would have tried to help them. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of giving me... Um, It's a Medea movie, y'all. He was with somebody, okay? But he had he had a woman that he was friends with. And I can't think of the name of the movie, y'all, but she had addictions and she had went to the streets. But she had like uh, a bad childhood and like I think she was abused and all of that kind of stuff. And so she ended up turning to the streets. And But his heart was with her, okay? And, and like he had somebody that was stable, that was good. And the woman he was with couldn't understand why he wanted somebody like that. You know what I'm saying? But his heart wanted who his heart wanted and he and he ended up being with her but he helped her he was a friend but they end up being together you know what i'm saying so this is kind of giving me this situation like it's like you all know somebody was suffering because of things that they dealt with in their childhood and the relationships that they had some of them could have been abused as a kid or they could have just been emotionally and physically abused in relationships okay or even like from parents and everything and you know, you knew it intuitively, even if this person did not mention that. You knew this person was moving out of a hurt place. And this person kept pushing you away. And the more they pushed you away, you just kept trying to love them. Okay? And so this person is like, dang, like all they tried to do was love me. This person know that they sabotaged this connection with you. And they want to come in and rebuild this relationship. Okay, they want to be persistent because they know in the past that they were hot and cold. They were in and out. They didn't, they were not consistent at all in your life they would come in and then they would ghost you come in and they would ghost you and you all felt very abandoned but i feel like this situation helped you because if you were somebody that had abandonment issues or control issues or anything like that this caused you to have patience in situations patience heal those things that maybe maybe you all could have had a father or a mother or past relationships where you had abandonment issues so now you know how to be alone you know what i'm saying you're okay with somebody walking away without feeling like oh my god what am i gonna do without them you know what i'm saying so like i don't feel like you lost in this situation at all like you had to probably heal certain things it's confirmation you could have had to heal certain things as well too y'all okay um because we all know that Sometimes the people that come in our life are not meant to be in our life forever. People coming out of life is a lesson or a blessing. All right. And you have to understand majority of the people that come in our life is a lesson. Not everybody we meet in our life is meant to be in our life forever. You know what I'm saying? We cross paths to you teach that person a lesson. And they teach you a lesson and then you go on. But life is all about lessons. You know what I'm saying? It's either a lesson or a blessing. But I always say it's a blessing in each situation, no matter what it is, because you learn, no matter if it was good or bad, you learn from the situation. You know what I'm saying? And in this situation, you all both learn. You all both grew in a situation. You both, you know, you both helped each other grow spiritually here. And that's what it's all about, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Nothing is a complete loss, no matter how things could have ended, even if people do things to you that's fucked up and you don't get an apology or whatever. Like, you learn from it. You know what I'm saying? No, it's not good to be hurt, you know, lied to or whatever. But you learn from the situation and it makes you better and it makes you stronger and it makes you wiser and you know what you want and you know what you don't want. 
and, and you know what you're not going to accept the next time. You know what I'm saying? So with this situation, this person had to forgive people from their past. They had to let it go. They had to let that hurt go. And they had to realize, like, every, no, everybody is not out to get me. Everybody is not out to hurt me. I cannot go through life mistreating people because people mistreated me in the past. And I go in a situation and I sabotage it before I, I actually know, you know, where it's headed. Like, I could be letting a good thing go. Not giving it a chance because I'm thinking this person is going to be just like the person in the past. So this person had to heal that. Like, everybody is not out to get me. Everybody is not out to hurt me. I don't have to, you know, make this new person pay for something my past person did because they were not the ones that hurt me. You know what I'm saying? I have to forgive this person for, that hurt me in my past. You know, not make this new person suffer. So this person has been working on themselves and repairing themselves and healing here okay yes evolving this person has been evolving i feel like you all have been evolving too okay i feel like you all had to forgive yourself for accepting certain things or the bare minimum because some of you all even though you had empathy or sympathy for this person and even though this person was going through things and they had to heal I feel like you had to learn boundaries. You had to learn how to not accept the bare minimum of being breadcrumbed or knowing when to walk away. Knowing when you're not being valued, okay? And knowing when you lack self-worth or that self-love because when, you, when you're whole and you love yourself, you're not going to let anybody come in and treat you less than what you deserve. When you love yourself, when you fully love yourself and you know what you're worth, you're not going to let nobody give you less than that. And I feel like that's what you all had to learn here, okay? Like, I'm okay being alone. I'm okay being with myself. If this man or this woman cannot give me what it is that I know that I deserve, I'm okay with walking away, okay? And I'm not going to constantly try to hold on to somebody that I know that's not giving me what I deserve here. I feel like that's what you all had to learn in this situation here. Okay, so you both had to grow and you both had to heal. You all both brunt out certain things in each other that y'all needed to heal. That's what that's and that's what twins do. Okay, but this person wants to talk now. They want to talk. Okay, so you're like I said, you're gonna begin a text, a call, an email, or something here. Y'all could be meeting up at maybe each other's house, or like I said. A coffee shop or something and it's going to start off as friends like y'all going to be rebuilding you all's relationship and it's going to start off as a friendship here and then it's going to escalate into something more here okay yeah you all definitely had to go in a separation to both heal okay and grow separately like you all had to heal separately okay so a uh, separation was needed but you all definitely you know, are are evolving or have evolved here. And look, it's like when you all come back together, it's going to be rebuilt. It's going to be on a solid, like you all going to be building something on a solid foundation now. Okay. Um, and it's going to be beautiful here. Unconditional love, but that self-love. So it's like you all are whole. You all have learned how to love you all, you all yourself. So it's like whatever you all give each other, it's just Add it to what you already given yourself. You all are whole. Okay. You already give yourself that love that you needed. Okay. You already value yourself here. Okay. So like I said, whatever you give, whatever y'all give each other, it's just adding on to what y'all give yourself here. Okay. And I know that, that sounds repetitive, but I keep saying it for a reason here. Okay. So some of y'all really had to learn how to love y'all self. Okay. You know, whether it was you, your person, or both of y'all. But it's unconditional love between y'all. And y'all are going to be together here. Okay. Yeah, you're about to get some type of truth and clarity in this situation here. Okay. And I definitely feel like this person is determined to make things right with you. They feel like it's unfinished business between y'all. And, and they're not going to let it go without a fight. This person regrets everything that happened between y'all, how he moved and everything. And he just praying for a second chance here to make it right. But you're definitely about to get some type of truth and clarity from this person here, okay? Yeah. And they're definitely not going to give up. They're going to keep trying until you hear them out here. Okay, y'all? Um, 
And I feel like right now you all is just working on your abundance, okay? I don't feel like you're just letting this situation get to you maybe like it did when you all first went in a separation or something here, okay? I feel like you're just focused on your money, your abundance here, and you just letting these blessings roll on in here, okay? But continue to do what you're doing, continue to manifest, okay? Continue to work on your money, your career, and all of that kind of stuff, and just know that y'all... This person is watching you, okay? They're watching you. They want to come in and they were, they want to rebuild here, okay? They want things to be built on a solid foundation. And this person, they want to be with you for the rest of their life, okay? It's unconditional love here, okay? And they ain't trying to let you go, okay? So expect this invitation here from this person here because this person been struck by love, okay? But that is all I have for you all collective. I hope this resonated in some way and gave you all some type of clarity. Thank you for your likes, your comments, your donations. Thank you for booking personal readings with me. Okay, if you would like a personal reading, okay, the link is in my description box. Okay. Uh, oh, to let y'all know, if you book on a weekend, y'all, the prices are a little bit higher. Okay. But if you wait to book during a weekday, it's a little bit cheaper here. Okay. But yeah, y'all, I thank y'all for supporting my channel, helping my channel grow, all right? And even if I don't comment back right away under the videos, y'all, I see the comments, y'all. But sometimes I be busy with personal readings or I be doing things, you know what I'm saying, working on stuff that I need to do and whatever. So sometimes I'm not able to comment back right, right, right away. But I see y'all comments and I, and I love that, okay, that you all uh, share you all journeys with me and all that and, and how supportive you all are of me. Even the emails, the text messages, okay, like, I trust me, even if I didn't respond right away, I have got the Merry Christmas, the Happy New Year's, you all sending love and light to me uh, and my children, all of that, like, um, sharing Bible verses and different things with me, y'all, okay, I love that, y'all, I love how supportive you all are are of me okay and it's a blessing to have beautiful people like y'all to support me and actually have genuine genuine love for me y'all i just wanted to say that but yeah y'all that's it that's just a little update i probably be back later and go live or something like that y'all see what comes out then but um yeah continue to book your personal readings with me y'all okay um and God love you, and I do too, okay? Bye, y'all. Have a good day. Beautiful Sunday.